Okay, I am just showing you how to replace the LCD screen on a Toshiba NB505. And the reason why is it looks like um, there's water damage or moisture damage that is going around the screen here, as you can probably see in different angles. So we're going to replace that. Um, first, what you need to do is make sure you always power off the computer by holding it down for about 10 seconds, making sure that it's off. And then once you do that, always take out the battery from underneath the um, laptop to make sure that all power supply is off. So that'll be my next step and then we'll begin. Okay, so this is taking off the battery. There's two safety things, one here and one here. You pull them off and then you slide the battery off. First thing that you do is there's little plastic tabs right here and there's one right here. Sometimes they're on all four corners and you start by peeling those off. I use um, some kind of small pin or whatever just to peel it off because it's kind of just like a plastic sticker and then behind it are screws. So I'm going to start with that. Okay so I took one off and here's the other one that I undid with a little needle and I'm taking it off. I set those aside and don't lose those. And then now we're going to unscrew these two screws. Okay, so, so far I've unscrewed the two screws, this one and this one. And I like to, when I take them out, I put them in a bowl right away so I don't lose pieces. Alright. Okay, so I took the screws out and the next thing I like to do is take usually a flathead or some kind of small object and I, I start prying it in the side a little bit just to loosen it up right here and then I start popping it off. Um, it pop, pops off pretty easy um, you just gotta use a little bit of force. It's just a thin plastic piece so that pops off all the way around so just start on the bottom and then kind of just work your way. There's little snap pieces but you shouldn't break it so don't worry about that. So continue around popping off this outside layer of plastic. Okay, so I finished popping all of it off. Here it is. And this is what it looks like inside. So you'll see that there is a few screws. So what I like to start with are um, this, these outside screws. This one, there's one right here, here, and here and then once we get those off there is inside screws that will release the screen but do it carefully um, because the screen will fall out it's not heavy or anything but um, there's little screws that you'll do here and on the inside sorry about that on the inside here and they're on both sides right here and on the inside there so we're going to start with these four one, two, three, four right now. And unscrew those. Alright, now we're going to take these screws off the sides. Again, be careful. Sometimes people like to lay the whole thing flat so it doesn't fall off of the screen. And we're going to take these screws out now. This one and that one. Oh, okay, so I've taken the screws out. Here's my last one. And like I said, I laid it flat because the computer screen starts to come apart from the back piece. See? So after I get the screw, screw out, I can take off the whole screen. Okay, now that you have the back off, you'll notice inside there's some things that are kind of sticky. And it's okay, you kind of just peel that little piece right there. It's okay to peel it apart and let it set down. And what you do is you're going to undo this piece right here and just slide it out. There's there's a little tape on there sometimes. You just peel the tape off. It's totally fine. And um, then we will continue and I'll show you what to do next. Make sure you don't touch a lot of this other stuff. It even tells you not to. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. So I took all the tape off and I slid that out. Be very gentle with this. And then you take all these stickers off to release 
the LCD screen. And then, voila, the old broken one you take off. And then you take your new one and you take the plastic off and you're going to lay it in there and um, line it up again, this piece on there, um, and we'll do that next. Okay, now you just carefully insert this into the piece. and push it in. Make sure it kind of snaps and then you tape this back down and then you start putting things back together. Um, and you carefully push this. There's little brackets down here that they fit into just so you know. So you'd start with that and then you, we're gonna screw this in, these side pieces back in. Okay, now I am starting to put the sides back in into the brackets. So you do all four sides. And then after that, we will start putting the screen back up to make sure all these wires right here are pushed in and you tape this back on. So I'm going to do this side. Now I will do the other side with the bracket piece on the side. Okay, now that I have the four sides in, I'm going to um, put these screws in, the top and the bottom, to the back of the screen. So we just have to make sure that this is these are all pushed in. If you can see, we're going to kind of push them into their little spot and make sure that we tape, put the tape back on to where it was. So there we go. So then the screen will fit flush again. See, we're just pushing it back in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna we fit it all in and made sure that all this was back in, the wires were in the proper space. And I'm just going to continue by putting these screws, all these, and these lining them up and putting them back in. Okay, so I'm putting in the last screw, and I want to um, give you a few tips. Make sure that you either write down or take a picture to remember what screws go in right places. Like I had the gray or the silver ones that went in these. On the side were the black ones. And then you also want to make sure you know what hole that they go into, because you'll see this top one is just a knob and you don't you put them in the right ones. So always have a good memory or some kind of drawing of where you where you put them in. Now, now we're going to put the screen on. Sometimes a little tricky, sometimes you have to put it back a little bit to just pop this back on. So we're going to do that and you just pop it back on. Put your final screws back in along with your little stickers that you took off, the little black stickers, and pop them back on there. Test out your computer and it should work great. Thanks for watching how to replace an LCD screen. Don't forget to put your battery back in before you try to start it. Thank you. Done. Okay, so now we have finished. Put the stickers on and we're going to test out the power to see if the new LCD screen that we replaced works. Look at all of the beautiful old screen is gone. And the reason why I had that screen is because I did a hard shutdown, so it's totally fine. But yeah, everything is gone and it's working great. So good luck to you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I also recommend um, going to laptopscreens.com. Greatest place to buy laptop screens and they're very, very inexpensive. And also customer service is very good to call. And they can answer any questions or if you have a model that you're unsure of, just let them know and they'll let you know where to um, get it on their website. Thanks.